So yeah, that was Pixie. Spent too much in there, really, but... What can you do? Then we went to Benefit. And I bought... I went to get their um, Perfect Brow... I can't remember what it's called, the Brow Kit, but it's obviously way too light for my hair. So she picked this one for me, which is called Browsings. And it comes with a pigmented wax for shaping, a uh, natural shaded powder for setting, and it comes with like this, uh, these tweezers and a hard angle brush and a blending brush. And it's got a mirror in it. So, let me open this. Ooh. Oh look, there's like a little book. Gives you a lesson on how to use it. So this is the box, and it just says browsings all over it. Then you open. It's got a little plastic cover. Um, do that. And it's got the dark wax on that side, and the powder on that side. And I haven't used this yet because I, like I said, I haven't opened anything yet. And this is the first. And it comes with little brushes, which is really cute. If I'd known that if this had brushes in it, I wouldn't have bought the other brush, but this could be good for on the go, I suppose. Not that I'll probably retouch my eyebrows on the go. It's not really something I can see myself doing. Um, I got a free little um, perfume. Look into Rock Rita. And it's a... I don't know if it says what flavour. What flavour? What... Um, scent it is but she said like do you like fresh or caramel or like coconut -y? and I decided I like coconut because it smells like holidays so I have a little pump bottle spray with tiny tiny bit of perfume in the bottom and it smells like holidays you know like that really I think it's um I want to say Tropicana but that's that's an orange juice it's a brand like that and it's got comes in a brown spray bottle and suntan cream and it is smells just like that but a lot nicer obviously so that was free and then the pièce de résistance of the whole shopping trip was my visit to Mac and I actually got to have um, a little session with one of the makeup artists and he did my I went in to get a foundation concealer and something from the Wonder Woman range um, in the end I ended up getting MAC NW15 Studio Sculpt Foundation it comes in a box like this and it comes in a tube like so it's weird because I've not used it on myself before I bought, I went with a friend of mine before her wedding to MAC in Bath and she had like a whole makeup thing put on and we bought the products they used so that I could do her makeup for her wedding and obviously she's got like pretty much a whole tube of this, she's got mineralised powder, she's got eyeshadows, she's got blending brushes, she doesn't use any of it, so cross making, she doesn't wear makeup pretty much ever. She'll put eyeliner on occasionally, but yeah, and because everything is the wrong colour for me, because she's much darker than me, so I can't use any of it. I might nip a blending brush though. I also got um, Select Moisture Cover uh, Concealer. I think it's meant to be just for your under eyes, because that's what he used it on, and it's a very sh like very liquid, but very pigmented concealer. Let me just open, you can see, and that is in NW15 as well, so obviously I'm at the much palest, m the most pale end of the spectrum that they hold, so it's those two, and then this, my favourite favourite, is my Wonder Woman powder blush, and it comes in a really cute box, and it's the Amazon Princess, this one. With it's really cute. You've probably seen it all over YouTube, so I'm not gonna bother like spending loads of time on it. Really cute box packaging. 
I mean, it does feel a bit cheap. Lots of people have been saying on here that it's, it feels really like naff plastic, but it's cute, I think. And the mechanism works, so that's all I care about. The gold is really cute as well. So you've got this pink blush in there. Just beautiful pink colour. And then you've got like a, a darker, it's almost like a plummy pink on there compared to the other one. Um, yeah, it smells nice. I thought it would. So I'm really pleased with that one. And that was my lot, really. I also bought um, some big storage drawer box things, Ikea ones, but they're really old. I bought them off eBay. I'm really pleased with them, so I'm going to be decorating them. I'll probably make a video of me doing them, actually, because I think it would be quite a cool thing to document and put on here. Because I'm a really arty person. I love to paint. I love to draw. Um, I love to make collages. I made a huge collage years ago. It's on my wall upstairs. I'll probably show you at some point. So that is my plan to cover the boxes and the drawers and stuff in like a makeup and fashion and beauty and things like that. So I'm reading all my magazines and cutting out pictures that I like at the moment for that. Um, this is probably going to be a super long video, so I'm not going to make. I'm not going to ramble on for much longer. I will just say quickly, I know I said I wouldn't say anything about the diet, but I'm going to say quickly that I um, really didn't get on very well with the diet over the weekend, and the last couple of days I've really struggled to get back on track. I start off the day fine, and then it gets to like 3, 4 o'clock, and I'm like, mmm, just want some carbs. So I'm hoping that I can probably get back on it probably properly tomorrow. I've been not too bad today, but... I haven't had weigh-in this week because, like, with the upsets of me breakthrough bleeding before, I feel really bloated and uncomfortable, and I had a chat with my, um, I went back to my GP, by the way, and she was like, yeah, definitely complain, so I'm going to do that, and, um, she's also sorted out a few other bits and bobs, my antidepressants, I've lowered the dose of those, so that might be another thing while I'm feeling a bit the the diet but I will get back to it and it's it will be fine. <laughs> um I'm getting weighed again on Friday so hopefully I'll have not put on but I don't suppose I'll have lost but we'll see. So yeah, picking up some more products tonight. Weighing on Friday. Um there's another meal out on Saturday because my mother in law's birthday. But I will be good and just have chicken and salad. Um, yeah, I uh, I might do some reviews of the things that I bought. Um, I'll probably do. I really must put that nail video together and put that up on here as well. Um, I'm gonna be buying some Fraulein um, eye shadow palettes at some point soon. I can't wait because they look amazing and really want to buy some. Yeah, London was good. Saturday was a bit crap because of the beauty show, like I said. Um, we missed all of the craziness that happened on Saturday with the march and everything. Well, I say the march. It wasn't really the march at all. It was some idiots that decided to turn up and take the piss, basically. <sighs> yeah, you're really going to be listened to when you behave like that. Well done. Stupid. Um... But yeah, Sunday when we went into the centre, we got off at Piccadilly and yeah, there was just like crap, not actual crap, but just rubbish and paint on the walls and it was a bit weird. But we had a lovely day, the sun shone and there was a guy busking on Connery Street and it was really nice. I took no pictures. Um, I took my camera, I just forgot. I took no pictures whatsoever. But, pff, whatever, I know what it was like. <laughs> and I'm sure lots of you have been to London, you see what it looks like and that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to go and not do the ironing. <laughs> oh, it's just stupid. I'll show you how big the pile is. It's really bad. That is my ironing. Not that big thing up there, that's my duvet. But that is my ironing. <laughs> I don't want to. It's so boring. I hate ironing. 
I don't mind every, pretty much every other housework job, I don't mind. It's just ironing. Oh, it just pisses me off. Anyway, I'm going to just quit bitching and, um, yeah, so that's all the stuff I bought. I'm really happy with it all. Very broke now. Ooh. Um, if anyone knows how I can make some more money, that would be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to go.